All right, I'm back. I my computer just decided I wanted to just shit itself immediate like out of nowhere. So that's fun. I love I love that for me. <laughs> but let me go ahead and get the game started cuz yeah, that's kind of tedious, honestly. I don't know OBS slash my computer been doing like weird shit lately. Part mostly OBS, but you know. Uh what was I doing? I already have the emulator open. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Anyway, uh let's let's get the the game back going. Thankfully we didn't really lose much progress with that. Mostly just I, I lost like a skill up and like probably a few hundred gold, but whatever. That's that's basically nothing in the grand scheme of things. Oh, I need to talk to that one lady in the, uh, I need to, to, do, to talk to this first. Granted, I don't restart my PC very often, so it probably was like, you know what, I've had enough, I'm taking a break. <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm not gonna fight anything else I really kinda have to. There'll be plenty of fighting later when we get into the, the, the boss of this world's dungeon, so. For now, I just wanna try to find that train of thought thing. Again, I think it would be, there'll be an exclamation point on the mini-map if there's anything nearby. They tend to do that in this game. Which is nice, cause well, there's just a lot of ground to cover. Oh, that mean, I wonder if that, mm, I'll, have to, I'll have to check my VODs that I was trying to upload before I went to bed, because those might, those might have uploaded fine, but I just don't know at this point. I'll have to re, maybe re-upload them. Oh, here's the town I was looking for at some point. I think this is one of the, the, the places shown in the uh, intro. They have a weapon store, an inn, and an item shop. Let's look at the item shop. Maybe they have something worth. Because some of, some of the shop lists in this game compared to the original are a little altered. Yeah, this one's probably about the same. These staff of healings are amazing. They're like basically essential in the end game to keep everyone alive. Cure tome's nice, but expensive. So I'm not really gonna worry about it right now. Let's look at the weapon shop too, I guess. They might have like some very basic stuff from the next world. Yeah, they got like the green the green dragon blade. Which has has a higher multiplier than the long sword. I guess times uh nine. Yeah, the long swords are times seven strength. So the the green dragon blades are quite a bit stronger. 
But I think we get a free one at some point soon anyway, so I'm not really gonna waste all of our money on that. I think we get a free one in the dungeon, so we'll just probably... We'll, we'll likely equip that onto our, uh, onto, onto our Mobis. Yes, onto our Mobis. Wait, is there like a dig spot here? It's just not showing up? Very well could be. Um, let's kill these rocks. Okay, that did kill them. I wasn't sure if that would actually finish them off. Because I think some of the rock enemies are, have a resistance to weapons. <clears throat> oh yeah, they, they, they have, those have a passive HP recovery. It's not, it's not super impactful. <clears throat> Early game. But late, but late game when there's monsters that have that, they can be a pain in the ass. Long sword handling, max HP. Oh, nice. Where at? In the OG game, that would be the meat that we'd want to get because you can turn the uh, baby dragon that you can start with into into a sprite directly with the eating where at meat. But we did, we we did a little bit more of a finagly meat path in this game since this game has like some slight differences and. Um, how monsters can grow. You can have mon you can get monsters with variants. Like our sprite is a variant sprite. I think, which I want to say, it gets us break. And maybe it gets us the heal spell instead of cure. Because I'm almost certain that normal sprites only have cure. But you know, you know, whatever. I'll probably head back over to the area I think I had that um, prompt to dig at. Maybe that's where I need to, well, dig at. I don't really know. Now I gotta remember where it was. <laughs> I'm just stumbling around in the in the desert some more. Once I remember it being like, once I follow this like seam here, being like at the top of the hill, maybe. But I could be wrong, I might just be walking in circles, probably. It's very easy to do that here. Kind of running around, causing mischief. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mash these uh, stream clips together. I'll probably just use this one as long as it doesn't like get disconnected again. Probably use this one as just like the main like upload or whatever. Where in the hell is this train of thought? <laughs> I could have sworn the last time I played this game that it's just like kind of in the ditch somewhere. But. I also don't really know. Midnight's not super helpful in this uh, part of the. in this uh, area. Probably on purpose to kind of. In the, in the original game, like, you, it, a lot of the vision was obscured by like, a sandstorm. So I guess their best way to kind of 
emulate that in this uh, 3D version is to make a similar kind of effect on the minimap. Yeah, cause sort of like some, some sort of dig spot around here I need to, to d interact with. Like I guess where I was like, where uh, there were some monsters, like, oh, there's a dig spot here, it seems like, and then I got into battle and then I kind of just wandered off somewhere. <laughs> so we're just kind of stumbling around the desert until we find it again. No biggie. Oh, I just realized uh, the um, the uh, thing for um, Tiltify. Like the little top bar thing isn't isn't there. Uh, let me. Uh... Huh. Like the little uh, donation bar overlay thing. Hmm. That's tedious. Well, all right. Not much I can really do that about that right this second. It, it, I think it was displaying properly um, before my PC decided it was gonna just freeze up completely forever. <laughs> I get froze up hard, like I couldn't even like, move the mouse. <laughs> no idea what caused that. I would, ima I would imagine probably just haven't had my PC on for too long and Windows, Windows is unstable on a good day, let alone if you've had your PC on for a while, so. That was probably a, 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 a me, my, a, a me fault. Alright, I'm getting a little annoyed at not being able to find this fucking thing. Like, you, you can tell I've been around this area, because, like, all the monsters kind of running around, like, red, but not, like, coming directly at me, because they're fucking confused. <laughs> like, where the fuck did you go? Like, that one. It's just kind of running around. See, there's the tower we're supposed to be going into. To deal with the Shura. But I'm not ready for that yet. I might have to like load up a YouTube video of like where this fucking these train of thought pieces are. Cause I would like to do that stuff, but I just can't fucking find them. Alright, that's gonna lead us in fucking nowhere. Ah, uh, they did make it pretty easy to find this tower, though, because you can just follow the cactuses. Yeah, I'm gonna very quickly, um... I'm gonna try this tilt of eye thing again, just to see if I can get it to, like, reload like it's supposed to. Oh yeah, still not doing none. Well, hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna like load up a um, a YouTube tab, mute it so it's not on stream, and see if I can find a.
Because there's like precious little, like, frickin' of this game. Anywhere. Like, this video I'm seeing, I'm looking at now as, like, an 11-year-old fucking video. I got a feeling this person didn't end up finding the train of thought. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should just Google the Google this some more. Now I just need a thing showing me uh, where or how I get the muse, how I actually get them fucking muses, cause yeah. Such, there's so little, uh, so little information on this game. It's kind of impressive how little information there is in this game. Like, there's like, <laughs> there's like an incomplete FAQ on freaking game FAQs, and that's like the only thing there, and it's just, there's so, so, so little. Yeah, there's, there's just like so little, um... I'm a little annoyed 
not being able to find information about this. I, I don't remember having this much trouble. Okay, so at the very least, these, um, Muse, um, of quests are not, like, permanently locked by anything. I still want to try to find this goddamn thing for this one, for the robot. Like, her, her body parts or whatever. Gonna kind of wander around this area a little bit. Wait, found something. What is this? Not the thing I was. Okay, that's the thing I thought I saw earlier. But it's not the thing I'm looking for for this this fucking quest thing. What exactly is a spear, though? I have no idea. A spear that is light and easy to handle. I mean, it is a strength weapon, so eventually they'll probably get used by our uh, intrepid uh, little swordsman there. A gold helmet, okay. I think that's something we already have access to. But hey, we can just sell it. Or I can, like. Yeah, we already have gold helmets, so. The monster cannot equip anything, so. I might go back to the first area and make sure there's not something hidden there first because I almost distinctly, re distinctly remember there being like a thing I gotta find in the first area of this world first and then the other one's out here. So we're gonna go back there to double check that I'm that that's not the case. Mmm, coffee. Trying to find this stuff. Magic power. Oh, that I think that's the item that you can give to a robot to give them spirit. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if it's useful, but it's pretty cool. 
it might be useful late game so that we can give our robots some spirit to better survive different attacks or to heal more HP from healing stuff. Alright, we're gonna circle the entirety of this fucking first map area. Trying to make sure we're not missing something, cause like... Yeah. Well, this area seems annoying. I wonder if it's in here. Maybe not. Well, we're getting to see plenty of the fucking desert today, I assure you. Just looking. This whole Muses thing was not even in the original game. This is just like stuff in the remake. Oh, it's right fucking here. The first piece. I, I think we have to go back and give that, and then there's more we have to go find. I want to say, yeah, I, I was right. There was a there was a piece out here in the very first area first. Right. Good morning, Yuzu. Thank you for stopping in this morning. It's nice seeing ya. Hopefully you're... I know you've, you've been streaming, doing some sporadic streams this week. Unfortunately, most of the time when you're streaming, I'm at work, so I can't really watch too much of it. But I can support from afar. <laughs> yep, let's give this robot, la robot lady her train of thought back. Yeah, I wish I could find mine that way, too. Is she moving? Rumble. Beep, whir, ding. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks for coming to help me. Request. Parts insufficient, cannot move. Could I ask you to search for parts abandoned somewhere in desert? Request. Please help. <laughs> Please. So I think now we can go find the other part or parts. Alright, though, let's go to the inn and restore our moves and the like. This is a remake. This is a remake of a like 30-year-old Game Boy game. I think this remake came out in like 2009 or so. so it's something like that. This remake is old as shit now, and the game that the original game is even more old as shit. So. <laughs> oh, monster, Moonster, Moonster. Alright, so I don't think we're- I don't think the other, uh... Oh, never mind. I'm glad I decided to come over here first, cause... I've- I've only ever really played the first, uh, two- first, uh, three Saga games. Like, Final Fantasy Legend, Final Fantasy Legend 2, and Final Fantasy Legend 3. They did make- they did do remakes of the first three games. And I, I think they've done some more. I think I think Square Enix has done remakes of some of the other ones too. But the remakes for two and three never left Japan, and they're both made, released on DS. And I have both of the ROMs and of them, and I have translations for both of them. Here, have a storage device. Thanks. Remaining part requested. Please help. Okay, fine, robot lady. I wasn't sure if I could find the next part without you know, getting that one delivered. Yeah, I, I also need to get more into Saga because I've, I've only played the first three, really. I think I still have my original carts of two and three on Game Boy somewhere 
in my 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 house somewhere. Not really how I live in a trailer, so it's not really a house, but you, you know, same same difference. Whatever, you know. <coughs> oh, excuse me, dying a little bit on the inside. <clears throat> uh, wee. I keep I keep having one of my one one of my I keep glancing over at my other screen and seeing the top bar of the stream not with that that doesn't have the um the fundraising like bar thing that I almost always have there because I don't know my computer's doing dumb shit lately and yeah so I'm just like it's bothering me but there's not much I can really do about it right now so I'm just like I'm bothered. <laughs> I could have swore there would be like a thing there, but maybe it's in a different sand pit. It, it is impressive that they translated a complete 2D Game Boy game to this. Good morning, Morgan. Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you had a nice birthday yesterday. We're just playing some good old RPG goodness, and I'm trying to find this robot woman's one of her body parts out in the, the desert for a side quest. Um, can't remember where the part is. See, this is where we're supposed to go for the story, but meh. It's fine. There's like a specific um, thing. Story shmory. Yeah, basically. Because this remake adds like a lot of different stuff, and one of them are these like characters called muses that, if you get enough, if you earn enough points with them in battle, they'll like join, they'll like do ri attacks and stuff for you randomly in battle. A little like kind of like guardian forces in a way. They're just like some kind, kind of like summons in a way, but you don't really choose to summon them. Plus, they're just kind of cool. So, just more stuff to do. But yeah, I'm just trying to find this. Um, let's, let's do a battle. Look at these fucking pansies. Uh, let's do nothing. So that are that are human here and our Esper here can get actions off to try to actually get some stat ups because that's the only way they get stats is by actually doing things in, in battle. Alright, time to stab this flower now that they both uh, did their thing. They got, they got their action, that's all that matters. Stab. Setups are random. <laughs> because why wouldn't they be why wouldn't setups be random in this fucking game? Um It's another um fun part of it being a remake of a Game Boy game is the setups are just random, so you're not guaranteed to get a setup whenever you do stuff in battle. So you gotta do a lot of battles. Which is fine, you probably need the money anyway, but you know. Where is this fucking thing? I've been wandering around this part of the desert for, like, a hot minute. Oh, here it is. I think this is the other, the other bit that we need for the robot lady. A maintenance kit. Alright. Sounds like a reasonable thing that a robot lady would need. <clears throat> or a printer. <laughs> I work with an unfortunately high amount of printers at work, and um, yeah, I, I I I dislike printers. They are not fun to to man to mess with. It always it almost always seems like there's just another little fucking thing wrong with them when you're when there's something wrong with them that just uh, they're so they're so prone to just fucking up. 
I, I hate printers. I work largely with label printers too, and those can be just as bad as just the other kind of just normal printers. They're just, they're just terrible. Just terrible. Excuse me, bird. This might be the last little bit we need to give to the robot lady. I can't remember. It's, it's been a while since I played this remake on my own. So. Thanks. Remaining part requested. Please help. Okay, so I think there might be another piece out in the other desert part. I can't remember where this other piece is. I can't, frankly couldn't remember how many pieces there were in the first place for this subquest. It might be... I'll, I'll kind of just zoom around this area too just to make sure that I'm not missing it because... It would be very cheeky of them to just to place the other piece out here and just not mention it. Don't just like shh. Don't tell the player that this piece is out here, not in the other more annoying place. Like I'm particularly suspicious of this big sand pit right here, but. Man, I could be wrong. No, well, there's something here, but I don't think it's the thing we're looking for. <laughs> high potion. How high is it? <laughs> and why isn't it sharing? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think it's gonna be in this little crevasse over here, but I'll check anyway. more of my coffee feels like my like insides are like gunked up like a freaking car <laughs> I need more fluids and again maybe coffee's not the best fluid to drink in a case like that but you know what it's fine it's what I got right this second I think I also have some water on my desk, so it's fine. We'll just kind of like stumble around this area a little bit more. Again, this is where we're supposed to go. But I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm also not really worried about fighting stuff right now, because once we get into the, the place where we're going to be going for the story, there's going to be plenty of fighting going on. So, we'll have no shortage of uh, the sick-ass battle music. kind of searched most of this area already, but let's kind of go, uh, I think I'm going in circles. I think I'm just literally going in circles. I need to go up this way, search up here. I think I was just going in circles. <laughs> I mean, it's really easy when it's, like, 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, the original Game Boy game had a uh, sandstorm kind of effect in this area, and okay, I have a feeling the best they could really do to emulate that in this uh, in the remake is to make your make your view distance like absolute dog shit and make the minimap basically unusable. So, I mean, it's probably about as equivalent. Although I would say the Game Boy versions much easier to navigate around because there's a there's a set path you can take to get to the tower every single time, basically. Which is fine, no, it's whatever. This mini quest thing I'm doing isn't even in the Game Boy version in the first place, so this is all just extra because I want to do as much stuff in this game as I can. No, this area is not as bad, nowhere near as bad. If um, you're not doing this extra shit I'm doing, because I'd like wander around looking for this stuff. This is not necessary in the slightest. This is extra. Because <laughs> I just want to do as much in this game as I can. Thanks. With this, all are found. Beep, whir, whir, ding. Hmm? She stopped moving. What happened? Beep. <laughs> Beep, boop. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hello, Cloudy. We're we're just bring, we're just finished helping another android person. Beep. She's 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 that's her bio. She's it's her post. She's beeping. She's powering on. <sighs> Foof. Back together at last. I am tired of this world. So soon I will go to another world. Oh, thanks for everyone. Oh, thanks everyone, Star. You saved me, Star. I'm Utere. Okay, you earned this. Bye. <laughs> now I will go home. We'll go. Meow. Going through the trouble helping her wasn't pointless, was it? Probably not. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, this whole mini quest we just spent the last, like, 40-something minutes running around the desert blindly for wasn't a waste of time. Let me save, though, because I do not want to do that again. Because <laughs> she just leaves. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, thanks, later. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, would you expect anything else? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna actually go do the thing we're supposed to do in this world, which is go to Ashura's tower and go fight Ashura, who is a who is a new god. He he has used the power of the relics that he is able to find or steal to become a new god. So we gotta do the the good old the good old RPG trip of fighting God. But we gotta get up there first. So we're just gonna just start climbing the tower. Like, like this this game is a 19 this game the original game of this came out in 1990 so like the whole like fighting god thing was established yep the, the fighting god thing was established super fucking early they, they love doing it they just love being god you know like I can become god of this world and then I'll get all the relics and then I'll be the god blah 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 <laughs> rabble 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 okay here's the tower No, here's another muse. Now we get to help. Eh? Nice to see you again. Oh, this is Polly. This is Mel's sister? Question mark? Oh, no. Polly heard Mel is in here, so Polly came to look. If you find Mel, tell. I'm sure, I'm sure we will. We do be attacking and dethroning God. You are absolutely correct, my friend. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the enemy encounters here in here can be pretty uh, thick. Good for getting money if you need it, but mm, it probably would be smart to get some stat ups too if we can squeeze a few out. Maybe maybe get hail some more HP. We get these cool um, 
three like this this outside 3D areas that have the camera spinning like this. Let's see, we got a door in here with uh, nothing. What's next? Oh! A new challenger! You've done well to make it here. Lord Assure is strong. You'd be smart to quit while you still can. If you still are set on going, well then, try your best! Lord Assure should be on the top floor. Yeah, Lord uh, Ashura is, was a goblin, originally. But then, through the power of the relics, became not a goblin. Because that's how it works, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'll re I don't know if there's really any hard rules on what the relics can really do. Who are you? I can't see your faces. I see. Okay. Then, you're newcomers. Yes. The work here is fairly tiresome, so... I'll give you this. It'll be good to use when you get tired. Now he's a godlin, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for the potion, little man. Please keep my time off a secret. Lord Ashura is hard on his goblin messengers. I'll be sure to work later. I'm just kind of going through all these rooms. I think there's like a, a, a optional kind of harder goblin you can fight. Hmm? It's a spoder. Who are you? An intruder then. Hehehe, <laughs> I was given the key. You will not escape. Oh, look out. It's, it's, it's a bunch of beetles. I could just mow them down right the fuck now, but I want to try to get some stat ups. Might as well if we're in a battle. I don't think they can even really damage us because beetles aren't necessarily a high tier monster in their kind of like family stuff. Alright, now I can mow them down with the machine gun and not feel bad about it. Yeah, the robot's very good. <laughs> <laughs> the robot's really fucking good. Like, unreasonably good. It's, re it's unreasonably easy to make a robot just very powerful. It's super early in the game. What was it? Another box? Ah, potion. See, you, can, you, you don't have to pick a party like I have where you have, like, one of everyone, basically. You can have a party of whatever you want. I just picked a party like this because it's kind of like the most interesting kind of combo because you kind of get to see a bit of everything that the game offers for the most part. Yeah, you can absolutely do a party of just four robots if you really want to. That's like a speedrun kind of tactic in the old game. You just have a few robots that do different things based on what you give them and it's just... It's just a fun time. Uh, let's see, I think there's a map action we could probably do, like dest destruct or destroy or demolish. One of those, you know, one of those Ds. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but we might as well. I like prop I like property destruction in JRPGs. It's always fun to just cause problems on purpose. Goodbye, bird. Up, up we go. And these little bits like this were a little less exciting in the in the Game Boy game. They were just like court, like screens of just le stairs, basically. All right. Uh, excuse me, lizard. Anything over here? Not really. There's another pillar we can destroy. I don't know. I don't really know what it does to destroy these, but... 
saber. Ooh. Looks like someone's got a new toy. Let's go to you. Let's grab this reap here and we'll swap in the saber. Let's see, where is it? The saber will give you four more agility and like 18 more HP. Because robots gain HP and stats from what they wear, so just having better stuff makes them do more. Your power grows. <laughs> So now you'll do even more damage to shit. Especially since that saber has a higher um, damage multiplier. I think compared to times seven, it's times nine. More power! Yeah, it's times nine, so just like more damage. Bigger than before! Excuse me, lizard. Now, at some point, we're probably going to come to a mini-boss, I think. Yep, here it is. Uh, I don't think we really need to do much for it, because, I mean... Hmm, what's this? Okay, no qualms about just blasting this fucker with everything we got. Oh, well, it's dead. <laughs> I think it's just a monster from, like, the next world or something. So it's not really that dangerous. But hey, we're, save we're, we're saving this dude. Wow, thanks, you saved me. I am, well, just call me Mask. I came here to defeat Ashura, but I got caught up in a big mess. It seems we shared the same goal. Why don't we join forces? Let's join the team. We got a fifth party member for a while. Do you know about Limit Drive? That's quite an, an outfit. <laughs> Dude's basically Indiana Jones without being Indiana Jones. Do you know about Limit Drive? Limit Drive is a power that is invoked when you get into a pension battle. It's an easy to invoke when surrounded by a lot of enemies. Defense power temporarily goes up, link attack occurrence becomes easier, and you can battle with more strength than usual. Ah, oh, well that's cool, I guess. I don't know if that's useful. Hmm. Is there like something I interact with to open the doors? Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, hey, that's probably Mel. Hmm? There's a girl that also got captured. Well, Mel. Oh, hey, yeah, it's Mel. <laughs> we'll get you out of here. Eh, the key is needed. We'll go look for it. Mr. Blue Oni must have the key. Got it. Mr. Blue Oni it is. We'll go search too. Thank you. Oh, well. Yeah, these battles can get a little, uh, thick in this tower. Let's see. Guards are gonna blast them with the SMG, because there's just a lot of them. Red bones. I think they're weak to fire. Yeah, they might be weak to fire. <laughs> Alright, and Mask doesn't have anything he can do yet, because he doesn't have his equipment yet. That's okay. Uh, red bone meat. Mmm. Ooh, a free longsword. As if I needed more of those damn things. Um. 
I wasn't sure if there was anything in this, um, that room that we needed to do to, um, unlock something. I think this is Mask's gear. So this is where they hid my equipment. I can fight now. Yay! Let's check him out. He's got a lot of HP. He's got a battle hammer. He's got 30. His, he's pretty strong. Even with this battle hammer, he can do a pretty good amount of damage. You can actually give him a better weapon to make to make better use of his his, ability, his you know stats. So it, it, it'll be something we won't get back. So let me see. I can probably just mm, let me look at the battle hammer's um. Multiplier first. Time to say, eh, it's fine. I thought it was. I thought it was worse than that. Um. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, don't want to step on that. Other than looking like the star of Sarah Doman, that's not gonna do us any good. Stepping on that. That's gonna. That's like a, a trap, like a pitfall kind of deal. Ah. Excuse me, bird. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> I can't remember if we'll have to go back down the tower to find this uh, Mr. Blue Oni for that mini quest or not. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I mean, you look blue. Yeah. This is the leader's room. Underlings are prohibited from entering. But how can I lead people who don't even know about me? It can't be helped. You'll learn the hard way that you have to fear me. I think this is a guy, another monster from either a, a one world ahead or maybe a few, but we can just like dump all of our stuff at, stuff on him. Okay, maybe not that serious. <laughs> I might have um. Okay, cool. Well, that was easy. Let's go, un let's go free the little critter, little muse. We're, we already, um, wrecked, <laughs> yeah, just boop. <clears throat> uh, I can't remember if this is down or up. I have a feeling this was, uh, up. <laughs> yeah, it's up. <laughs> Kinda hard to tell. It's really easy to get disoriented with this game. Just blast them. Alright, so once we get to the, back to the jail, we should be able to release our little green friend here. You found the key for Polly. Great. Any boo-boos? No. How about you, Polly? Polly's okay. Thank you for thank you for saving Mel. Please call me Mel Mini. Let's see. This is thanks for saving Mel. Well then, Polly and Mel are off again. Mel truly thanks you. She's just covered in shields. <laughs> it looks like. Oops, all shields. <laughs> Well, that's got an elixir from. I don't even know which room that was, but that was. The elixirs in this game are are they're pretty good. They can revive a. They can use the battle. They can revive a dead uh, unit. Which is one of the only ways you can in this game. Although they might have uh, changed that in this remake, because in in the in the old game. There are very few ways to bring someone back to life in battle if they if they die. I think there was specifically a like a like a revive spell that like in the game monsters could learn. But otherwise, yeah, it's just kind of. Hey, look at you! You're so fast. Ambush. Uh oh. Okay, these are some enemies from I think World Four, maybe. I think the swords might be, but I don't can't remember the, about the um, trees. Uh, 
Oh yeah, those are resistant are resistant to weapons. Ow! Rude. I can't remember if these sword enemies are the maybe I don't think these ones are resistant to spells, but I think later ones are. Yeah, we need to grind up some stats. Cause those I mean those are some later game enemies, but still. It's just kinda like it just did no damage whatsoever with the little sword there. Which is partially because the sword just has a lower damage multiplier, but you know. You know how it goes. Bigger numbers. Nope. Oh, Alright, cool. <laughs> That's a lot of birds. HP increase. Ooh, that's a good one too. Especially since Hale's HP is just lower in general. The Espers tend to grow a little slower. Really wish Hale would learn a uh, cure. It's very nice to have on your Esper. Uh, was there a door I missed, or was this the Oni's little, the blue Oni's door? No, that's where we came from. Okay, I'm. I'm see, I'm. Our, it's so easy for to get just turned around in here, even with the mini map. Look at all these enemies. Ah! <laughs> Gold shield. That's a good thing to sell, cause most of the shields in this game aren't very good. They probably made them a little better in the remake, I'd imagine, but. Most of the early game ones aren't really worth your time using. Uh, we're gonna blast some blast some guards and some pansies and the like. More coffee. Mm. Espers can be very powerful when they when they get their when they do get good and have good abilities. Can just they can just wipe out just swaths of monsters like pretty effortlessly too. I uh, probably should be fighting some of this stuff. We'll fight this big battle. You can you can chain battles together. Just get, I mean, I think I showed a few off earlier, but yeah, you can just get, like, some pretty, pretty massive fights here. Uh, we'll... Thanks. More money. Well, I 
Well, I guess we'll fight two separate battles. It's still, it's still a pretty big fucking encounter, even if it's just one. Up, up high. You can get encounters like this in the Game Boy version of the game, too. Like, just these, like, numbers. Like, you can get some pretty... Uh, ups, up, like, obnoxiously big enemy encounters. So we're gonna kill these, um... Octopuses with... Uh, we'll do that one... Yeah, you get some pretty big encounters, and even in the original game. So, having group attacks is very much encouraged. <laughs> Oh, one of them survived? Where the hell is this? Where the hell is this one? Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Stab. No stat ups. Woo! That's nah, fine. We can use the, we'll, we'll be able to make use of the money next. Uh, next world to buy some new gear. I think there's like better armor or whatever Okay, and here's some more of these oh nice we get a preemptive attack RNG is a cruel mistress. No stat ups. No. <laughs> Come here. I need. I need stat ups. Uh, blast them. Got a blast. There is a fast forward option for these battles in this remake, but I don't like using that because f I forget it's on and then it's, everything is fast forwarded. You already have that! Why? You don't need two blizzard spells, you fuck. <laughs> what about second blizzard? <laughs> oh, wait, is. Oh, blizzard is. Okay, never mind. I'm a fool. Okay, so blizzard is. Okay, this is another case of the original game naming things a certain way, and then this remake naming things a different way, but being confusing. Okay, so, fire is a group spell. Blizzard is the name of the group spell for ice now. And cold wave is what Blizzard used to be in the original game. <laughs> I have no idea why they didn't just keep the names the same, because it used to be just called ice, which made sense to me I don't know what the whatever it's fine I'm just I, it's fine <laughs> anyway no stat ups so we gained a redundant spell <laughs> you missed me how are you gonna miss me like that big think yeah and yeah, the, the enemy groups up here are pretty gnarly as you can see again there's just there's just a lot of them Good for money. How did one survive? Again, how did that one survive? I'm not sure. And again, no stat ups, but we got some meat. Yay! 
I, I'm trying really hard to actually be responsible and get some stat ups before this boss. Seems it sure is on the next floor. Yup. We'll just fight some stuff or whatever. We're out in Pebble, uh, we could probably just... What? Fuck it. We ball. Let's do Blizzard. I think I sure is immune to normal attack magic anyway. So we might as well use those, those things now. And get some, try to get some stat ups. Use one of these, uh, Link things. Blizzaga! It's not copyright infringement because um, Squ uh, Square Enix owns the Saga series now, so they can do whatever they want. <laughs> as, as I saw in this video I was watching yesterday at work, it's not plagiarism if, you're do if you own your the thing yourself. <laughs> it's not plagiarism. It's just, uh, look at that, haha, -ha, funny. Uh, uh, let's fight some more birds or ram for ram ram for hein coos whatever the fuck. I'm. I have lost control of my life. Uh, yeah, that's probably enough. Uh, I want to save those submachine gun blasts for the boss. So we'll just use a thunder since thunder's probably not going to do much to Ashura anyway. Something we can do, however, before the boss. I don't can't believe I haven't done it yet. Yeah, let's change our formation. Let's move uh, you down because. We'll switch these around, because right now Hachiko is extremely overpowered stat-wise. So having them soak up more hits is ideal, because they probably won't take much damage anyway. Strength Source, that's a good item to save for the end of the game, because that gives you a flat plus three, uh, Strength boost. Oh great, my inventory is full. Well, let's figure that out. Because <laughs> I definitely want some of the stuff that's... Uh, that we've been getting in here. Uh, we can throw this 11 durability rapier away. That's not going to be worth our time. Um, we can throw this punch away too. Granted, this helmet's only gonna be only gonna, be, only gonna really be useful to sell, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, let's see if we can wipe out this uh, battle in like one turn. Maybe. Almost for that, but I think, uh, yeah, that's why I moved Hachiko up. Well, I think with Cold Wave, that'll probably finish off the Were Rat and maybe kill the B. Yep, perfect. Oh, great. <laughs> just we just got some pebble meat, my favorite. Mmm. Neat. What we got? Green Dragon Blade. That's the thing I was talking about us getting, uh, later. It's a slightly better. It's better than the battle axe, so we'll go. We'll swap out one of these long swords. We gotta store some shit once we get back to town after this boss. But it's a. It's like a. a, a 
more two more, two higher multiplier than a long swords. So we, we, it's going to be used for stuff like bosses or whatever, because the long swords are very cheap. So they're good for trying to grind up stats. So we're just trying to hold on to those if we can. Uh, other than that, I think we just I think we're about ready to go. Face the shirt. We'll save down here. There's not random encounters in this game anyway, so we can kind of save wherever. Gabba! Gabba! Gabba, Gabba, Gabba! It's about time for the multiple armed god. Of course, it has to be a cool. There, there we go. <clears throat> God, this music is so fucking good. Look at this fucker. He's. You fools! I've come to your deaths just as I planned. Right about now, my minions are micronizing and entering Kai's body. What have you done to Kai? Leave Mother Kai out of this. There are relics that have been in Kai's body since the day she was born. They are the source of her powers. If I steal those relics from her, she will weaken and die. Two birds with one stone. Nay, after I take your relics, it'll be three! What? I won't allow it. Yeah, this song is nostalgia. It's so good. Uh, okay. Submachine gun. We could, we could try stone, because I don't think Ashura is immune to stone, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to let everyone else try to, like, hit. Uh, you're Bobby use a spell. Oh. Surely this is not gonna work. Yeah, that's why that's also why we moved uh, Hachiko up higher on the uh, attacking thing. Honk shoo me me me. I guess it does work. Alright. <laughs> So we're probably gonna just miss anyway. Let's just use long swords instead. Now I can try a funny thing. Let's see if I can turn you to stone and kill you instantly. Just for the memes. Oh, I, I missed. Which which I think means it's possible. I just missed. Man, this dude's just asleep. Honk shoe, honk shoe, you know? Am I, I wonder if it's because he's asleep. I don't know if like there's like a limit to the amount of like status effects you can have on an enemy, but I guess now we can try. Yep! <laughs> Alright, boss is dead. Fire! Okay, well... Honestly, I might redo this boss fight a few times, because Ashura is a higher, like, scaled enemy. So your espers can get a better um can get better what you call them um have a chance to get better abilities from this fight and as you can see it's not very hard it's really really not so uh we're going to um hmm we'll just do reset yeah it's re it's really not hard but yeah I love like that music is so good like, they did a really good job in, like, just remaking everything in this game. It's so, so good. Yeah, we're, not, we're like, right downstairs from the boss anyway, so. We'll probably try to put him to sleep again. Uh, I'm trying to, think, trying to remember if I have some sort of a speed-up key I could do, but, nah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. 
OBS is having a freaking meltdown over my internet speed, even though the KB is over 3K. Uh, OBS, what's wrong with you? Yeah, we're just gonna spam through all the text. Honestly, if I could just learn Cure from this, I'd probably be satisfied. Also, I don't know if we should use- I don't know if I should even use Sleep. No, we'll use Blizzard even though it'll probably get like- it's probably immune. I just want to try to get the, uh, the spirit boost. Oh, we actually hit with that. Nice. Yeah, see, he's just immune to it, but I think that still counts as us, uh... And hey, everyone hit, so let's, uh, try the funny stone death again. <laughs> Dead. Strength increase. Explo- I don't know if that's like the sacrifice spell or not. <laughs> Those are some good stat up. I mean, we're about to find out what spell this is after we see this stuff. We'll probably see it more than once anyway. Ugh, that's foolish. Impossible. I don't want to die. Ah! <laughs> Everything explodes in this game when it dies. It's amazing. We're probably not gonna keep this depending on what the explode spell actually is. Cause I'm almost certain that's the one where your character like sacrifices their life to like just do a tremendous amount of damage to enemies. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll do this properly when it's time to actually go. I just wanna see what the explode spell is. I'm 90% sure it's gonna be a reset anyway, but as you saw that battle is fucking easy. Especially if you're prepared, that's very easy. If you're not, it can be a challenge. Like if you're doing some sort of like weird like minimum battles run or some shit like that. I can imagine that boss being really hard. Okay, so let's see. Explode. A technique where one sacrifices one's own ife in a final attempt to destroy the enemy. Yeah, we're not we're not keeping that. It was really cool getting the spirit and HP boost, but we can just get that somewhere else. So let's do let's do that again. While I'm at it, let me see if there's like some sort of like speed up thing I can do somewhere. Na, 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 na. I'm just looking at emulator settings, don't mind me. Let's see. Where's controls? Control config. Let's see, is there some sort of speed up? Uh, let's blah, 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 blah. I'm sure there's a speed up option somewhere. Let me just let me just go Google it real quick. Real quack. I'm gonna Google it real quack. <clears throat> let's see where's the speed up. Let's see. Config, hotkey config. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have guessed that, honestly. Because you would think it would just be in control config, but uh, the, let's see. Words, fast forward toggle. Um, there we go. I have, a, I, have, I have an Xbox 360 controller. It's wired, so it's got like two different shoulder buttons, so I'll just have it as the back. Alright. Oh, yeah, it, it definitely works. So now we can we can zip zoom through through parts that we, we already have done. Frankly, we probably could zip zoom through the freaking boss fight even if we really wanted to. Alright. <laughs> that sounds cursed as fuck. But hey, it was faster. Uh, 
Oh boy, Hellblaze. I think we could actually survive uh, two of those if it really came to it. I just want to make sure that my uh, two characters. Oh well. <laughs> Whoopsie! That's not gonna go. That's a, that's a reset. Whoops! <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, Ashura. That's not that that's not within regulation. Oh God! Please. <laughs> just, just, just pressing that and fast forward is like difficult. <laughs> pressing that, pressing up once with a control stick is really hard and fast forward. Yeah, I might as well not even use the green dragon blade on uh, this boss at all. See, that's who you're supposed to hit with forearms. That still did a lot of damage, actually. Cloudy's not especially powerful defensive-wise. I could probably do with getting rid of like one rapier or so and putting on another piece of armor to just increase the tankiness. Okay, we hit, the, we hit with the longsword. Hellblaze, that's fine. Everyone should. I mean, frankly, it doesn't really matter if the robot survives. As mean as that sounds to say, it. The robot's basically just there to be like a, a big, a strong fucking beat stick most of the time. If I can have them survive, absolutely. But, you know. Now we're just gonna see her do nothing until Ashura wakes up. Unless, unless, the, unless Cloudy can just kill a Shrew with a machine gun, that'd be pretty funny. All right. Max HP. Clouda. I don't know what that does. I might just have to look up a list of all these, uh... Just as I was expecting, um, like, no goddamn info anywhere. Pretty sure this thing I'm about to look at is gonna be just for, like, the- Oh no, it says Esper. So maybe this list is actually, like, worth the shit. Or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what this spell even is. I guess I guess we can just see anyway by doing speed up, so. This music sounds demented. Spit up. Alright, what is Clouda? 
Because no, apparently nowhere on the fucking internet knows what this is. Let's see. Magic uses a toxin to cause an instant rotting. Of, okay, it's a poison fucking spell, basically. Re reset. <laughs> this is going to be just a reset fighting Ashura until we get Psycho Blast stream, I guess. Not Maybe not specifically Psycho Blast, Psycho Blast but that is a very good uh, spell. That I think you can get from fighting Ashura. As you can see, the spells get the, the abilities gained are just random. means we can probably just use break next turn to end the fight like immediately since we actually hit with everyone max HP up oh, that's lackluster that's unacceptable I mean normally that'd be like amazing to just you know get a max HP but we need more I'm greedy. More! <laughs> One sixty nine. We can finish the battle next turn with break, so. Mascot speeding Kachiko. The, the gumption, the nerve. Death. <laughs> Death. I'm pretty sure that's probably not something we want either, even though it sounds badass. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll watch this event once I actually get a spell or ability that I actually want. I just gotta figure out what all these fucking things are. A spell that offers a target to the god of death. So it's an instant death spell. I can't imagine that's gonna be very useful, unfortunately, so. Reset. <laughs> Admittedly, you'd be doing stuff like this in the original game as well, because I'm sure it's like the first time you can actually get a pretty good um, ability for your um, Esper super early. There's another opportunity later that lets you get like almost any ability in like World 4, if you just kind of continually uh, fight, this, fight the same boss over again, kind of like this. And you can technically do this against some of the later um, bosses for a similar reason to just kind of have a better chance better chance of getting a nice ability for your mutant your esper to make them more useful be great otherwise but I, I really want to get a new ability <laughs> I apologize for how boring this honestly has to be there's only so much I can really spice up something like this 
because it's, it's it's pretty important that we get a good ability from this. Yeah, the music is at least very, very fucking good. That makes the grind a little less painful. Alright. As long as everyone hits the first round, we can then end, end the battle. With magic, you don't have to worry about it hitting, because if it hits immune anyway, it means at least it hit. And break seems to almost always work on Ashura to, to do the insta-kill, so... Pretty good! Alright, well... I just think all the sped up stuff sounds really funny. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta do unfun grinding stuff in games like this. But more often than not, we get battles where we can, the first round, just hit with everyone so that we can just end the fight so it's not as bad as it could be you know other honestly that would be ideal but I just I need I need the new ability if I could get Psycho Blast that would set us up for a long time because that's a basically a replacement for for your um, AoE like element spell kind of because it hits all enemies but it has a really high damage multiplier and it's like neutral damage so in general, it's usually better than those most of the time, but, y you know, it's, it'd be really good to get. <clears throat> but I think, I think our, I think our Esper has to do an action to be able to be eligible for the, the, the role to get the ability, so. We have, we, have, we have to unfortunately do a round of battle. I believe. If we don't get it, it get something good this time, I could try a round of it just of just killing the boss instantly and see what that does, but I can imagine it's not gonna do us much good otherwise. But we can try it anyway, because I mean it's all about science since I guess this game has like no fucking documentation anywhere about anything. No, we already have that. I don't need two of the same spell. <laughs> it's truly just random what they give you among the, like, there's like a table the game checks based off like the enemy's difficulty and like what abilities you can learn from a battle. And I think the enemy's dif difficulty also determines like the, the learn chance as well. So there's like a whole bunch of different variables on like what you can get based off of what battle you're doing. Like just a massive amount of variety. Okay, so this battle we're gonna just try a first turn kill with, with a break and see what that does. I can't imagine it's gonna do us much good, but honestly if I could just get a new spell by quickly spamming out, you know, battles, then I'll just do that. Like, I could care less if we get the HP or strength up or whatever. If we could just get the spell... Yeah. It's very likely that I am going to have to do an action to learn a spell here. So, let's do another reset. And just zip it along. Unfortunate, but yeah. I think I was on the right track of having to do an action in battle to gain the, the ability to roll for a spell. Because just we gained nothing from that battle whenever it was just... Insta give, to, insta give to buy the stone sp the break spell. So unfortunately, we kind of have to actually do something and use a turn. But I can just speed up through it. Anyway, so it's not really that. It's not like it's hard. Strength increase. That's all we got. No. <laughs> At the very least, I can make it fast. Or faster. Oh, 
Oh, this reminds me when I was playing Dragon Quest IX and like Metal Slime grinding. Doing a very similar thing, which is doing speed up to try to find encounters faster. Nothing. You get nothing. You lose. <laughs> um, you don't have to scum it like this. I've just have played this game so many times as a kid, and I uh, played the original so many times as a kid that I know like certain areas where you can kind of like save scum to kind of try to get better abilities than you're supposed to have super early. And, like same thing with the monster I have. Like you don't have to do this thing I did to get the monster I have. You can just kind of play fast and loose with like the meat eating system and see how it goes. But the way I did it is I ate a very specific monster meat sequence that um, gives you a very strong monster very early or that much earlier than you're supposed to, technically. Although it's still within the, the rules of the game. It's not like it's a glitch. So this game is very playable without doing stuff like this, but I just like doing it because I feel like showing off some of like the weird mechanics of this game is more interesting than just playing it straight. Playing it straight up. Although that's very interesting too, but there's just like so much weird shit in this game that, that they carried over very faithfully in the remake. That I feel like it'd be a shame not, not to show it off. One damage, that's enough. One damage is all I need. Well, yeah, at this point, I don't care about stat gains from this fight. I just care about trying to get a good ability for the Esper. Because Esper ability gains are pretty uncommon early game, let alone good ones. So the opportunity to get a really good ability super early is just pretty good. In the original Game Boy game, that's much easier to emulate and find to emulate. You can do the same thing at this same boss to get some, pretty much the same abilities too. But yeah, I'm just trying to make the playthrough on stream smoother in the long run. Long sword hit, perfect. If I wanted to be like be done and through this boss, we could have already been done through this boss like ten times. Like this, it's not a tremendously hard boss, even without having the break spell accessible. Which in the original game you had to have a uh, a Medusa monster specifically that you can get at this point if you're very crafty with your meat eating to use uh, like stone gaze or whatever. Because otherwise the sprite you can get does not learn. Uh, break. That is the, because this sprite I have is, in the remake they make it to where you can like eat different meats in different orders to get like hybrid monsters as like the finishing point. And this hybrid sprite learns break, which makes the, which makes this first part of the game even easier than it normally even is with the sprite. Because the sprite normally is pretty overpowered because it has like cure and thunder and a lot high stats for the area. But this one's even more overpowered. <laughs> It learns break and also has a party-wide heal, which is obscenely strong for this early in the game. No, oh, yep, your es the Esper and the human need to get a move off so that they have the chance to get their stat ups and their abilities or whatever for this fight. Otherwise, they're just not going to get much out of it other than some gold. Which is great, but you can get gold elsewhere in the game at any time you really want, so... Might as well get something out of it, I feel. Oh, it missed! That's a first! And that's the first time in all the resets that we've been doing that break has missed. I guess it just shows how... 
high of a chance it is to actually hit. <laughs> that it's only been now that we've seen a miss. Great if we get another miss in a row. Probably gonna do a reset anyway, cause then we might have some people that die. There we go. While not bad, that's not really the ability I would like. That means that 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 O flame means it's a resistance to fire, which is not bad. But as of one of four abilities, you probably don't want just only a resistance to fire. Gold is cool and all, but how about more gold? Why not more? More gold. <laughs> yeah. Now, now if I could get something like oh all that would be worth getting because that is a resistance to like basically everything in the fucking game like reduced weapon damage immune to like most common elements like that's like actually what he has i think is oh all or maybe oh change or something because like normal normal like attack spells just don't do anything to ashura and that's funny enough a thing you can actually get on your espers as one of their four abilities, just like immune to like element spells and stuff like that. And I'm just trying to get through these two turns that we have to do as fast as possible. Alright, okay, that's probably good enough. Break Glare. Funny enough, that's kind of similar to what Break is, but we don't want. That's st basically Stone Gaze. <laughs> from the old game. Uh, we don't need that. <laughs> Game's just like teasing me. It's gonna look at all these cool things that aren't really that useful in the grand scheme of things. They're very cool, but like, I just kind of want an att a good attack spell. And maybe a stat up or two. Like, that's, that's all I want, game. Please just give... Uh, humans gain stats based off what they use. Like, if you have a human using uh, agility weapons like rapiers or sabers, they can gain agility points. And if you use, like, swords and axes, they can gain, like, strength. So, humans basically grow, like, espers can grow that way too, but it's a lot slower. So, humans are more, based, are more um, like, skilled to doing weapon use, so... All the classes have something different about them. Alright, yeah, I should have sped through this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. But yeah, really cool game. I think the in, in the in the original Game Boy version of the third game, it's it's more like a classic standard RPG without like weapon durability and like you gain XP. But I think the remake they did of three made it some more similar to this game. Which is an interesting change. Can't remember fully though, so we'll have, to, we'll have to see once we get to that game. But I have that ROM and the translation patch for it on my PC already, so when we finish this game, we can go to that one next. And I plan to because, yeah, I've been putting off playing these for too long. <laughs> Alright, I can speed through the rest of that. Strength increase, max HP. Oh, well. Great. I mean, I guess if it really comes to it, I could probably just beat this fight and not get a, a skill, but I kind of really, I really don't mind if I spend the rest of this morning's stream of this game just trying to get a good skill from Ashura, because, I mean, at least the stream title's reflective of this, because <laughs> dude's got four arms, that's a, that's a few more than you need most of the time. Although, I, mean, I guess it would be pretty cool having, like, four arms so you could do more stuff at once. But, you know. That's neither here nor there. I, I don't know it. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter if Mabas gets a stat up. It just matters that Hale gets to move and do a spell. No, I need to. <laughs> I almost just did another turn for no good reason. Because <clears throat> the main focus of this battle is Hale getting a useful. Uh, uh oh. Rude? It's just. Yeah, the main focus is just Hale getting a uh, 
a good ability. That's the only reason we're doing this still. Now, in a normal fight, that'd be an excellent outcome, getting that much stuff just from one fight, but we need... We need that. We need an ability. That's that's what I'm doing this for. I should probably stop. I should probably stop repeating myself. I'm pretty sure that's getting annoying, but that's. <clears throat> All right. Again, you, cool, but not, <laughs> no pun intended, funny enough, uh, cool, but not really what we want. <laughs> oh, cold. It means ice stuff just either does less damage or no damage. Most of the time, I think it's just Im an immunity. <clears throat> but I know there's some element weapons based off of the elements, like a flame sword later on. I think those would probably do less damage, but maybe they'd also just do no damage. I can't even, I can't remember. There's a lot of like weird little intricacies, because someone, if a character is like, has a weakness like fire and use like a fire weapon, there's a chance you just one shot them. It's kind of like just a lot of weird little intricacies for no real good reason. No spell, because I think the, 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 the spell roll happens before roll for stats, so yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, well. Sometimes you just gotta do the thing. I suppose I suppose if it gets to the end of the stream, we still don't have something, I might just go for it anyway, because, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. This is just would be a very useful power boost. Another uh, unfortunate dud there. I know that one's not good. <laughs> I think that's just a strictly a poison ability, which poison is not very useful. Sleep is arguably more useful because then they're just not doing anything. You can just clobber on them. Like in the first few fights, we we're actually trying to like go one on one with the Shuro, or I did sleep. Like sleep can actually like bosses aren't strictly immune to statuses in this game, like in a lot of games. That's the thing I like about Dragon Quest as well, is like a lot of the bosses aren't strictly just like, oh look at me, I'm immune to statuses, might as well not waste your time on them. Like there's some bosses, like, I think in, in Dragon Quest Eleven, there's like this, like, lion, like, nightmare boss that is vulnerable to sleep, that is otherwise a pain in the ass to deal with if you don't use sleep as often as you can. So it's like... I like, I like when games make it to where status effects aren't completely useless, because in a lot of games they just kind of like are, like it's like no point in using them. Which feels like a fundamental part of the game is just like missing. I mean, of all those of all the O abilities I've gained so far, that was probably the most useful because there are some enemies later that do have, like, you know, break gaze or whatever the hell it was called. Break the gaze! Not the gaze! Well, honestly, I don't even really care. We're still gonna 
fuck it, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> We're gonna try it anyway. Because if, if I can get the, uh, the ability up, it's fine. It's fine. Uh-oh. It, it's fine. If we can get the, if we can get a cool ability, it's fine. I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll take having the human not gain anything over... That's not a good ability. That steals money, but money is not really that hard to get, especially in this game when you can do, like, those big, like, link, uh, those little combo battles. So. It was interesting seeing Ashura do, hit someone else with that, uh, forearms move. Other than the first two people in the party. It was cool that it wasn't the, the Esper. You know, the person in the fucking back of the party getting targeted. Oh, no skill. Okay, I, I, I remember the, the the keyboard shortcut for resetting the emulator. <laughs> Jesus. That's a bit of a shit show. I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm adamant about trying to get this abil uh, an, a good ability from this. At least now I have the keyboard sh shortcut memorized. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I don't want plunder. <laughs> Stop. Go away, plunder. Hey, at least I'm getting these resets down to like a freaking science. need that either I don't don't I already then I don't I already have a sleep spell I don't know if that's different but it's probably not what I need probably not let me move the mouse it's just in the way well, I get these I can get these resets down to like a minute or so at least instead of like longer because I still have to do the inputs for the uh, the, the, the non, like, the actual characters that can gain stats and abilities, I have to do those inputs. <laughs> Trying to turn into the inputs for the load save thing on high speed, too, is a little, um, a little sketch. Yeah, let's uh, not speed up during the the selection portion of the. It's very easy to like the wrong inputs because the game is just like going really fast. That's automatically reset because the ability gain is before stat gains. God, the freaking just the, the flames catching on fire says do do do. <laughs> the sound effects are ridiculous on 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 fast speed.
No, stop. I don't want plunder. <laughs> it's like, are you sure? He looks like he used some more money right now. He only got like 15 grand. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Honestly, if I could just get Cure, I'd probably be satisfied because I still don't have a Cure spell on the Esper. Which is usually when you can get pretty early on, but I just didn't get it because RNG is a cruel mistress. Oh, now I, a weakness to electricity, no thanks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. doesn't miss very often, but when it does... Really? Two in a row? Well, Cloudy's just hanging on for dear life because we've missed two break spells in a row. Come on! There you go. I already have fire. <laughs> Shit. What a mess. Oh, we got another miss. Another, oh. The miss rate on, on break seems pretty low. Don't worry, we're, we've been resetting like 10,000 times, Cloudy, because this boss can have our Esper gain, uh, gain abilities that we're not really meant to have this early. But it's a case of like, you're just kind of rolling different random chances of getting, just getting abilities. So we're just doing a bunch of sa kind of save scumming in a sense. Done their moves. Let's do break again. No ability gain that time. So that's another reset. I'm gonna do these damn flint torches exploding into fire in my sleep. I'll just be laying there in bed and I'll just hear do 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 do. <laughs> Another stone miss. Oh, that's a reset. <laughs> Just get. I want that twink obliterated. <laughs> Hello, Charles. Uh, this is uh, the second saga. This is a remake of the second saga game, so it's t kind of related to Saga Frontier. I've not played Saga Frontier, I've only played the first three saga games. Thank you for the hydrate. Right now, we're trying to save scum and ability learn from a boss, because <laughs> this boss can give you your uh, Esper's abilities early on in the game that you're not meant to have. So we're just fighting the boss over and over again, because we can kill him really easily. 
because they're not immune to being turned to a statue, and our monster can do that. Do that. So we're, oh, well, I don't really mind so much if um, the human is dead, because it's not about you right now, human. Oh, great. Freaking missed the stone spell. Oh, we gotta try again. Come on. There we go. That, that's cool, but not what we want. I know that's not a really a good spell. But yeah, this is part of the Saga series. I need to play more of them. I've only played the first, like, three. And those were the, the versions of them on the Game Boy when I was a kid. Other than this one and the remake for three that I have uh, as well. Which we'll play at some point, but yeah. We're just trying to sa save Scum this boss to get a good ability on our Esper. It usually goes a little smoother than the last fight did. Because usually they... Usually the boss attacks one of the first two people in the party and just doesn't do any damage. Or at least not enough to really worry about. Alright, do nothing. Use break. There we go. Oh no, no ability gain. Great reset. <laughs> I don't have I don't have to do this, but I just kind of want to get something nice from this boss. Fortune it makes for a less than ideal viewing experience, but them's the breaks. Unfortunately, when you're grinding, I guess this is can, can, I guess I would consider this grinding. In a way. Thankfully, I got a speed up button on this emulator, otherwise, it's take way longer than it already has. Like, way longer. Oh, wait, we got another. Sleeple. Huh. Didn't even know. I couldn't even remember him having sleep. That's weird. I'm sure he probably did in the Game Boy version as well, but... I don't want Plunder. <laughs> plunder is not a good spell. Like, sure, you get a little bit more money, but you can just wipe out a bunch of enemies anyway to get money. Especially with some of the changes they did in this remake. You just get, like, big chain encounters and wipe them all out with big, like, AoE spells and get a bunch of money really quick. Yeah, we're just kind of doing this. I'll probably end up doing this until the end of stream, and if I still don't have an ability that I want, then we'll probably just kill the boss for realsies. No. And then just deal with it, because it's not the end of the world if we don't get a, a, an OP ability from this, but... But it would be nice to just kind of get something cool. So I gotta, I gotta well time my, my speed up toggles so I can kind of skip through some of the more annoying things like all oh, this dialogue, which is fine. It's good story stuff, but like you kind of don't need to see it for like the ten ten thousandth time while we're just doing the inputs we need to ensure that our Esper can possibly gain a, a skill. I'm pretty sure Esper has to use magic to be able to gain a skill in a battle. Or sometimes you just don't get anything. <laughs> what a what a mess. Well, as far as the official stream time goes, I've got like 23 more resets I can do before it's probably time to end the stream for lunch. I guess maybe if we... Uh, yeah, that that is a very that is a very uh, important metric is gaming in the Clinton years. 
I mean, the original release of this game on Game Boy came out in 1990, which was, uh, I think, George W. Bush the first, or whatever, with, like, uh, like, Desert Storm. <laughs> I mean, th this desert world has a storm in it. Coincidence? I think not. No, that's also bad. No. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with whatever rabbit hole that happens to be, but I'm sure it's probably some sort of like conspiracy theory. I, I was so innocent and pure. <laughs> Funny enough, this game came out the year I was born, so yeah, this game is as old as I am. Well, at least the original version is. Okay, that's another reset since that was no ability gain. Oh no, what's the punchline? Gaming in the- <laughs> I was gaming in the Clinton here! <laughs> Exactly. I, I, I am a real Clinton gamer. It's probably not something I would want to call myself. Admittedly. Alright. No ability gain there, so let's keep going. Come on, Ashura, give it up. G give, give me that sweet, that sweet Ashura <laughs> I probably should never say that again. That was cursed. Like, that was incredibly cursed. Oh, that's what I get for being, that's what I get for sexually harassing Ashura. <laughs> I don't get I don't get the ability I want. That's how it works, right? Jesus Christ. Um I mean, I would consider asking a random creature that you don't know, let me see your blah blah ussy to be sexual harassment, so... Yeah, probably don't do that to um, people that don't... Oh, mi you missed break. You had one job. Oh, now this battle's gonna take like three turns, come on. There we go. I'm tired of doing these inputs because it's, it's always the same inputs on my end. It's just different outcomes. And no skill gain. Sure is like, nope, you're not getting skill gains now. You, you, were, you said some nasty shit to me. It's like, fair? It's, it's, un it's undeserved now. It's probably undeserved before too, because I probably just have done some reprehensible shit that I'm paying karma for now. Them's the brakes. Stare. 
stare. No, don't stare. Stop. St <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry, Ashura. I'm not trying to bother you. I just, I just need an ability, please. Can I get a crumb of RNG, please? Just a crumb. I feel like some of these last resets have been really fast. No. Oh, not control F, but control R for reset. Come on, yeah. The answer is yes. Load the damn file. <laughs> um, I probably could just like do a save state like right here. And like just load the state. Which I think is just F1. Like, just... Yeah, we could just load the state. That'd probably be faster than what I have been doing. If I can make any way I can make this faster is fine by me. Yeah, that's way faster. I don't want to get. I don't want to make the safe state closer to um, like when the actual encounter starts because I don't know when it starts calculating the RNG or whatever. You know, numbers, fucking numbers. Yeah, now, now we're going hardcore grind mode. Save state right before the boss encounter, even. I can't believe I didn't think of that sooner, honestly, because that would have saved me a lot of time. You know what? I did say if I could learn Cure, that would be good enough for me. And you know what? I'll take it. I'll take Cure. Good enough for me, because I've been needing that for a while. <laughs> Granted, it's less needed when you have um, a monster that has a heal spell, like a, a sprite, but we might not always have that. So it'd be nice to have Cure. All right, grinding is over. <laughs> the Great Evil has been defeated. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip relics on everyone for this entire time. Not that it really matters for this fight, since it's basically just cast, break, and kill the boss immediately, but... Okay, now we actually just press X event here. I picked up this shining jewel from over there. What a pretty jewel! Maybe some mysterious power dwells within. Strength shining jewel obtained. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> ball! Thanks, Ball, for teleporting us out. Hmm. The mission's been accomplished, so from here I bid you farewell. Thanks, Mask. I'm worried about Kai. Let's return to Kai's place. Back to world one. Now let's rearrange our abilities with our 
our lovely little twink here. Let's see. Um, honestly, I don't think we really need Blizzard. Well, we'll have it until until Hale learns a different ability in general. Yeah, we already have a, an ice move in, the, in Cold Wave, so it's fine. Really, really need to, like, just, um, get Hale's spirit up. So we might invest in one of those, uh, psychic daggers that you can buy in this world. Because that lets you get, um, spirit level ups, possibly, from using a weapon. Kai, please hang in there. We could go inside her body if only we could micronize. It's said that the giant clan knows how. That's right. Mother Kai wanted me to give you this. Go find a way to micronize from the giant clan and save Mother Kai. There's also some other stuff we can do in this place now. I really don't want to fight this, but... Hmm. I might as well let these two fight something. Because they can still gain status from these lower level enemies. Yeah, you do not want to eat the meat from these monsters. That will ruin whatever monster you got you have going on. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go to drop off some stuff, some items that we don't want to carry with us. Hey, is this, this thing, this, this lad. Except for, I know, I'll take care of everything. Oh, there is an end. I wasn't sure if there was like ever gonna be an end. <laughs> I gotta store these. Oh, cool. Yeah, the ones I've ever played are the um, the ones on the game, the original Game Boy, and um, this remake. I have I have the remake of the third one on my my PC as well with the uh, translation patch because these two re remakes never left Japan, so unfortunately, just kind of can't really you could probably import a copy of the game but like you know that's expensive and I wouldn't really be able to easily stream that so uh, no <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not really that into playing the original stuff so much as to inconvenience myself it's not uh, I'm not that interested in the game. I love the game, but I'm not that in love with the game. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, hey. I wasn't honestly expecting her to be here, because we first found her in World 2, as far as I know. But I don't know. Uh, is there something else? No, I think that was the event in here. <laughs> now to mod the game, it changed that to the first line of Megalovania. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can sell this gold helmet. Oh, uh, we, we might end up selling that spear, maybe not. Like, Derringer's not super useful, and this gold shield's not so much either.
I came here strictly to buy one of the uh, psychic daggers or whatever they're called. They should sell them here, yeah, psycho dagger. They let you do spirit damage, and that's a perfect thing to use to uh, fairly cheaply increase the uh, spirit of your humans and your uh, espers. So I think espers have a, no have a, like compared to humans, have like a normal spirit growth rate, but all the other stats grow slower. So having that might be a good way to kind of make use of some of these earlier game encounters just to try to gain some uh, extra spirit for more damage, so to speak. Uh, let me make sure I'm not missing something. I'll have to watch, one of my one of my pals sent me something on Discord. I'll have to watch that after stream. <laughs> it, it, it's a pertain. It's a it's pertaining to RimWorld, which is what we'll be playing after after lunch. So I was like, uh-oh. Oh, we got Ashigaru. Look out. Shouldn't be able to one-shot him with that. And... That's it. Oh boy, I love that. I probably I I think I'd rather just throw that in the trash than try to sell it. <laughs> it's so not worth it. Yeah, I'm more concerned about getting um Hale's uh, spirit up. Since Hale missed, I might as well uh Finish the fight off there. Yeah, since these enemies are pretty low, are very low power, I might as well let, um, Okay, I'll try to get some spirit boosts off of them. Laugh if I do a nut, the human got a, a, a boost to stats, but not the character I'm actually just trying to get a boost to stats with. <laughs> because that's just how RNG works some days. It's like, oh, you're, tr you're not trying to do something? Well, here you go. But the second you're trying to do something, fuck you. Never. You're never getting a stat up ever again. You'll never work in this town again. Excavate over here. Oh, well, that's exciting. We got a hundred gold and another goddamn longsword. <laughs> Good thing is those longswords, you can use those like just f throughout the rest of the game to just try to get strength boosts with your uh, human. What is this box? Strawberry pin badge. That is a gift for one of the muses. I don't know which one, 
But I can guess maybe the pink one. That seems like a pretty safe bet. Because there is a uh, pink muse that we saw in the uh, in Ashura's tower as a sister that's a green muse. Oh great, I'm glad you got a stat up there. Mister, I don't need more HP right now than I already have, but I have almost 300 HP. <laughs> At the very least, Hale has 200 HP. That's much better and that's pretty good right now. I've had some cases where my Esper slash Mutant has just not gained a... Blizzard lost. Blizzard gained. I gotta love it. You gotta love just pff, fucking... <laughs> forgetting the same spell that you learn again. <laughs> That's not a neurodivergent fucking thing. I don't know what it is. It's like, hmm. I forgot this thing, but I remember the same thing. <laughs> over and over and over again. Uh, brain no worky. That them's yeah, that's brain sometimes no worky. Distinctively not having the human act in these battles, because yeah. Wait, is there like more than one skeleton? What is going on? What was I? What was happening? Oh, that, that's there was uh, multiple enemies. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, wait, why is this battle going longer than this? Great, you can get spirit by, by doing just like your spells or whatever. But I figured the dagger would be a nice alternative to that. Kind of just also use. Nope, st still didn't gain anything. Pain. Stab. Oh, Jesus. Let's turn in the correct direction. get ambushed by this little this little guy. Look at these little guys. Stab. Chop. Ouch. Chop. Come on, please game. Don't do this to me. It's never getting stats ever again. A blue ooh. It's actually pretty a pretty good treasure. The, the, book, the books have similar spells to some of the ones that your espers can learn. But anyone can use them, other, well, other than monsters, because monsters can't use items at all. But, like, robots can equip that if you really wanted to, I guess. The only, the only way that'd be really worth your time doing would be um, if you have a robot have a magic circuit board equipped to it. But at that point, you're probably just better off having a Esper. Unless you're doing a all robots run, which you can do, and it tends to be pretty solid throughout the game. Oh great, you get a stat up. I mean, it's good, but like, god damn it. <laughs> I just want some spirit. Can I have a crumb of spirit, please? We have to go this way anyway, so... Whatever. It's not a bad thing that our human's getting a little stronger as well. I just, w I just wish the, 
the Esper would as well. Come on, please. It's like the pleading eyes emoji at this fucking game. At least these enemies are very much not a threat, so I can kind of mess around. Yeah, I think the skeletons are still resist- are- even these skeletons have resistance to weapons. Oh, great! Now you want to give me cure. Fuck this game. <laughs> I spent all that time up to Ashura without cure at all, and now the game's like, Oh, hey, you know what would be really funny? You know, it'd be absolutely hilarious. Granted, I still have that save state right in front of Ashura, but no, we're, we're not doing that anymore. I'll just deal with getting trolled by the game. Fuck, fuck's sakes. What we got? A stun gun. Great, I can sell that. Because that is not worth using whatsoever. Oh, video games love giving me a hard time. I need to look and see what monster. Okay, yeah, it's uh. Oh, come on, really? All right, fine, fire. You're fired. Great. I'm sh I'm so happy that you're almost at 300 HP now. Fucker's gonna be like 500 HP before my fucking Esper gets a single spirit up. Oh, pain. Well, I guess we've gotten a little bit of money from this little adventure. Guess it we feel much better about just not getting any stat ups on my poor Esper, but you know. Well, the music in this this place is cool. This whole they did a really good job, like with this area in the remake. I mean, it looks really cool in the OG game too, but like it's just really, like, really cool. Go through here, and then we have enough. We have enough uh, relics to open this door now. I think it's right here. Yeah, this door. We can talk to this little critter, but I'm not really that interested right now. I want to get to the next uh, world and the next town and stuff, and then a little shortly after that, we'll probably be ending so that me and my Marie can do lunch. And then after lunch, I will be back with some more fucking RimWorld. See how that plays out, because ooh, big monster, big, big. It's Rhino. Hey, this is th this monster was a boss in the first uh, world, quote unquote boss. You know, you know how that goes. It's like, it's like I'm a big monster from later in the game, but earlier in the game. Mordor.
Ooh, Graveyard Keeper's a good one too. I have that. I haven't played that in a while. Gold Nugget. Oh, hey, it's that blue Oni that we fought in Ashura's Tower. It's also this Rainfall Slug that we're killing immediately, because... It might, it might have been a similar time frame for me playing that game as well. Cause like, yeah, it's been a, it's probably been a minute. Oh, that's rude. Don't put my twink to sleep. Do you even do anything other than sleep though? Answer maybe no. I think this thing only has sleep. While tedious, that's fine. I just need to have my uh Oh no, you have you have like nails or something. Sleeping standing up. Who are you, Lloyd Irving? <laughs> Oh boy, you get more max HP. Great. I was kind of joking when I said, "Oh, hey, you're going to have like 500 HP before my Esper gets a gets an S a, a spirit level up." But <laughs> it might not be that far off actually. Uh, Jesus. Eye drops. Oh boy, what a treasure. I can just go to the goddamn pharmacy for those. Terrorists, my favorite. Look like they look like CSGO players. <laughs> Don't shoot my twink. Don't kick my twink. That's twink abuse. Yeah, we need to level up our stats pretty bad. We can still just blast them away with the submachine gun, but like, yeah, our, our strength and our spirit are pretty low. We're not able to like reliably kill these groups in like one round, so it's not great. We need to probably just do a bunch of grinding next stream of this. But hey, now we have cure. We have two cure spells. So we can probably just stay out here for a, a little bit and just fight enemies. I think the enemies of this world probably have a higher stat up chance than last few worlds. That is an unpleasant sound for poison. Are we still poisoned? I don't know if like status carries over in the remake or not. Yeah, most stat most statuses in the original game don't carry over after battle, except for I think curse maybe, and maybe blind as well. Yeah, it's extremely useful having cure now because we can use we can heal it before going to an end, and it won't cost us money. And then all of our uh, abilities will reset in a usage for like the robot and the um, the Esper and the monster too, actually. Kill that fucking imp. <clears throat> Honestly, it doesn't really matter if we just use the saber a bunch now. No, go. Oh boy, earthworm meat. 
Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Run house arouse. Mordor. Oh, no. no. Stat ups are still few and far between, it seems. Okay, we got some terrorists. Let's just. I mean, I guess we could probably just off one of them real quick. Just to make it less. The turns take. Lo Ow! Machine gun time. Not bad money for just like laying waste to groups like that. Yeah, we're not even gonna let this thing move. It's just kind of annoying. We'll just kill it. Probably the same thing again here. Jesus Christ, just like no skill ups at all ever. Except for the human, ha 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 ha. Um <laughs> Actually there's a there's a little uh, treasure we can go dig up. Over here. Oh, that's pretty nice. Keep that in reserve. Again, just no skill. <laughs> the RNG is being cruel to me today. Whatever. Let's go in town and investigate, like, the shops, etc. Let's see. Okay, here's the item shop. It's likely where we're gonna find some armor. Let's see. Gold armor and mithril gloves. Uh, buy two of these gold armors. Oh, our inventory is full of... Of course it is. Uh, let's see... I'll probably sell, yeah, I'll sell that too. Low in purity. It possesses an unrivaled dullness. That's not very flattering. <laughs> Get these two their armor upgrade. Be a nice bump in defense. And I guess depending on uh see bronze armor is not worth much, so we're just kinda selling it to get rid of it. 
And honestly, these standard potions aren't really worth holding on to anymore since we have Cure now. I had done strictly because we didn't have um, Cure yet, but we do now, so. Alright, let's see. Mithril Gloves. Can we afford four of them? Or rather, at least... Let's get three of them and we'll kind of see if we can buy, need to buy a fourth, because... A robot here can equip just gloves and get the full defense bonus out of the armor tier, like... Like you see, it says mech defense six, defense two. So we can equip a mithril glove on there to get ten defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this this robot just has gloves for gloves for days. And how much money do we have? Yeah, we got enough for the other uh, some more gloves, some more pair of gloves for the actual people in the party. Not just the robot wearing like ten thousand pairs of gloves, <laughs> which is just kind of funny. It's like the robot's just wearing nothing but gloves. But now has like 26, def 26 defense. Yeah, it's like a two defense boost. I feel like it's probably worth it at this point. Make, make up, makes up for the fact that we just been kind of grinding away trying to get stat ups for like not really any gain, so we can at least get some armor upgrades out of it. Wait. What? Did I buy, did I waste money on an extra pair of mithril gloves at some point? What, what, what is going on? You've got gloves, you've got... Huh. Well, I did say I probably needed to get another, get some more armor for the robot, so, I mean, here we go. Totally didn't, totally meant to do this, don't, don't worry. It was, it was, it was intentional, I'm not just, I'm not that, I'm not that big of a fool. <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> um, yeah, I, I am the April Fool. That's the, I am the April Fool. Um, Sort item is. It says sort item, but I wish there was like a way to like just re like reorganize the bag so that they're all like not like at the fucking bottom of the damn bag. Like everything's spread out through the bag right now, and it's kind of tedious. I'll just have to do it myself. And your bag's not very big, unfortunately. Alright, well that's about all we need from the item shop, I think. We'll look again anyway, because we got gold armor, there's cure tomes, a cross is for curses, but I don't think there's even any enemies that can curse us yet, so it's kind of weird that they sell it when you can't even really, like, use it. Technically. Alright. I know there's a weapon shop too. So let's take a look at the the Weepon shop. Let's see, saber, mm. katana, which is an, an, an even bigger strength boost than the green dragon blade. Mithril bow, which is a set damage bow. They still sell the submachine gun here. Sidelong glance is a weird, like, not really paralysis, but I guess a skip a turn move. Uh, let's see. It probably would be worth it to buy another saber to further make Cloudy even more obscenely powerful. Yeah, because we can do that and get another boost to stats, but another four agility to make up for the rapier we took off, basically. And more HP, and honestly, I think we're just going to go ahead and upgrade with another saber as well. I need your boots. 
in your motorcycle. <laughs> More power! Yeah. The robots can get really strong. Like, if you really don't care about defense at all, you can have a robot with just nothing but weapons. And be, like, really... F the reason I have sabers is because sabers increase agility, but that's what the damage rolls off, too, so... The robot's just really fast and does a lot of damage. And it's just very, very overpowered. Alright, cool. So there goes most of our money. Let's sell some other stuff. Like... Alright. Now we don't have money to buy anything else, but there's another shop here that is of interest, but we just don't have money anymore for it. The stuff they sell here is pretty expensive anyway. Welcome, what'll it be? They sell this giant armor which gives like a lot of they they give good stats for um, for um, human men specifically because they give like strength bonuses as well as like defense. That being said, that, like if you buy a bunch of giants gloves, you can make your robot really tanky. I don't think it gives you the strength boost, but it, like 18 defense for that money is pretty good. That might be something we end up doing when we leave before we leave this uh, world. Give me a second. I'm gonna check with my roommates. See uh, when they want to do. Checking up with my roommate to see when lunchtime is happening. Uh, I guess we can talk with this little flower. There's an event. Alright, cool. I just wanted to let you know. I saw some guy. Really? So there's a suspicious guy around here. I wonder, is something really hidden at the ruins? If it's a, if it's a rumor about that place. And it has to be true. Total. That's how it works, right? Rumors are always true. You can't imagine there being anything but treasure. Let's all go investigate. The giant's ruins, right? Let's go investigate. New treasure point added. Uh, what about you? I think this is like kind of like the arena challenge thing. What? Just because I look unusual? Huh, ho. You look very strong. I know of a place. Wanna go? Arena of the Dead. Uh, no. No, thank you. Not right now. <laughs> let's not, let's not do that to ourselves. Uh, I think we can go in here and encounter the uh, string instrument girl again. Yeah, here she is. Oh, we meet again. If you like, I thought of a pleasant feeling tune. Hope you enjoyed that. I shall think about adding to it. <clears throat> Okay, and there's this dude I think we have to talk to. What do you want? I don't know anything about giants. Welcome, a drink is 10 caro. You want one? See that guy over drinking up there? He's Johnny. I heard he used to be a giant. What do you want? I don't know anything about giants. Okay, then screw you, buddy. No, I don't need another drink. I'm not thirsty. At least in this game. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
relics are safer with you. No one would suspect a child to have them. I'm not a child anymore. As long as we'll seek the relics, we're sure to meet again. Then we can go home together. Promise, Dad? Yeah, it's a promise. Well, so long. Sure, sure, Dad. Uh-huh. He's, he, he's off to the corner store yet again. So what's going on over here? Is there something to dig up? Sidelong glance, huh? Got any shit I can steal? Eh. Say, how is it that you're able to get giant goods when no one else can? Whoa! You surprised me. Good grief, how'd you get in here? Well, I don't know, the back door? <laughs> <laughs> They're from the giant's ruins. How do you get in? I asked Johnny. Don't tell anyone. It'll be bad for business. How'd you get in here? Surely you couldn't have gone the way that I get in the building. That wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Fucking silly. So it's looking like I'm going to be going till noon, probably, instead of 11, which is fine. I, oh no, I get to play a game I really want to play more time, oh no! You know, I gotta go back to here and talk to Johnny, now that we know his dark, dirty secret of possibly being a giant previously. The giant good dealer told you? Curse that old man. Oh well, I guess I'll tell you. There's a shortcut by the stairs to the east of Giant's Town. There's a rock blocking the way right now. There might be a way into town if you demolish the rock. Here, use this. This will show you where you can demolish rocks, walls, and other weak structures. I'm sure you don't need my help, but I'll tell you how to use it, just in case. Open the menu screen. Select the map ability. Demolish will be there, so equip it. Then when you're near a rock you can demolish, try pressing the ability button after the ability panel shows up. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Sunshade mark on the field map. Wind vane. Neat. Alright, end time, and then we're gonna go investigate this giant's ruins business. Before we leave the end, though, I think we can drop off some stuff at the little warehouse, dude. It's Blorbo right here. They actually store a pretty decent amount of stuff. The, the original game didn't have this kind of storage thing, so it's kind of nice that this game does. And yeah, we're holding on to these long swords for in case I need to do some intense, intense grinding. I probably have too many. Like, I probably have like, way too many swords unless I really want to, like, just grind up a bunch of stats at some point, which... Probably not a bad idea. Oh, I think we have another Muse event right here. Uh-oh. We got a big booter fly. Hand over your relics. I refuse. I see. That's the case, I'll have to change your mind about it. Rude. <laughs> Call me when you decide to hand over the relics. 
rude. Please forgive us. Please help Lady Thalia. She is Lady Thalia, queen of the insect clan, one of the muses. Lady Thalia is a very wise muse. This isn't her inner nature. She wouldn't normally do something like this. It's because someone cast a mind control spell on Lady Thalia. We aren't able to do anything about it. Please free Lady Thalia from the spell. If only we had uncursed honey, we could restore Lady Thalia back to her usual self. Of course, under understood. Uncursed honey? We will look for it. Yes, please help us. We can't save her on our own. I mean, did y'all like... I want to eat delicious sweets. That's strange, the pub's owner is making something. I've been sick lately. If only I had giant strips, I'd be okay. I think I know a fairy that had some made for her. You don't have it. Oh yeah, there's like a little weird mini trade sequence thing you gotta do. I think. Uncurse Honey? I don't know anything about that. Of course you wouldn't. Oh, good. You arrived at a great time. I just made some fairy suits for a customer. I made way too many. Please take some. Okay, we got we got the secret we got the secret candy for the for the fairy. So let's go give them that. Again, this is just like side content that's added in this remake. This whole little fairy sweets shit is not in the original game. I'm hungry. Aren't aren't those secret sweets? Let me have them, please. I just, I'm just a fairy, but you can give me this glass bottle as a reward. When you fill it with water, something fantastic happens. Hmm, I wonder, what, is that how we get, like, some magic eye drops for that flower critter? Probably. You can draw water from here. Giant clans drops. Oh, yep, yeah, that looks like the things we probably need for this little flower. I've been sick lately. If only I had giant drops, it'd be okay. Those are giant drops. Isn't it really okay? That's right. Wait just a minute. It's gonna squirt out some honey for us. This is my reward for you. Mmm, delicious flower fluid. <laughs> Mmm. How how delightful. Oh, Lady Thalia is coming. Phrasing. <laughs> we, we are not handing you the relics. We will undo the curse. What what are you doing? This is Oh, I... What in the world? Lady Thalia. You. It's because of their help. Is that so? How shall I express my gratitude to you? First, I'll undo the spell I put on you. That's a good... That's a good first start. Second, this is my apology for the trouble you went through to save me. Muse points. Well then, I am sorry for my discourtesy. I truly thank you. I will never forget this kindness. Now if you excuse me. Off they go. Neat. Alright, now we can leave town. <laughs> After that slight diversion. Fight some more terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> Cloudy's damage is even higher now. Keek! Just need to get um, Hale and Mavis' damage up a bit higher with, uh, with just more, more stats, because they're not very high. I 
probably should have just used the uh, SMG or something, but yeah. Yeah, I probably should have just used the SMG blast to finish those off. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I was like, why is it making that noise? Alright, let's, ex let's excavate this stuff. A moon brooch, that's probably a Miu's gift. Almost, almost certainly. Alright. And there's a little sun icon that they mentioned on the map. Cloudy is now built like a brick shit house. <laughs> like defense wise, like nothing, nothing for next like world or some change are probably gonna be able to do that much damage. No stabs. <laughs> Pain. All right. Now let's switch back to excavate because there's a bunch of stuff up here we can, well, excavate. All this, all this excavate loot is also just like new to this, uh, new to this game too because like all these map abilities weren't in the original game either they added a lot of stuff to this remake I'm honestly curious on how much of it carries over to the third game's remake as well because I've not really played much much of that one I have it I just haven't really played it across okay you need more relics to open this door yep that's fine there's like one entire other door we can go through, so we'll probably we'll just use context clues to figure that out. All right, we got some terrorists with a rhino. Oh, we got a samurai. Okay. In the uh, in the original uh, game, these these like next level like like swordsman monsters don't appear until a little later. <laughs> Look at this little blurbo. I love him. Same with these. They don't appear outside of the next kind of like dungeon, quote unquote, that we're going to be going to. So it's kind of interesting that they are here. Thing's got a lot of HP. A little more than I expected. Oh, look at you getting a strength increase. Admittedly, that is what we're hoping for. <laughs> so I can't really be that snarky. That's kind of that's something I do want. I just wish that uh, our Esper would also get a few of those. But otherwise, they're gonna continue lagging behind unless we just grind a whole bunch. Star Sand, that sounds like either something we sell or a gift for the muses. Maybe both. I don't know. Oh hey, we gotta go in this rat hole. 
That just makes me think of the mousely fucking thing from Twitter. I crave cheese, Leon. Oh god. Ah, rude. Let's see, is there anything else in here other than a million monster encounters? Hello, Neki. Good morning. We're playing some of this until noon, and then I'll be stopping stream for lunch, and then after lunch, I'll be starting up some more RimWorld. It is a it is a very round robot friend. The orb. Ooh, can we get a three? Oh, it's a three way. That's a qu that's quite a few enemies. Um, quite a few unpleasant enemies too. Um, this could be a little a little um hectic. Thankfully, I've got two characters that have really strong group attacks. Otherwise, this would probably be a much more dangerous uh, situation. No, thank you. A lot of money. Kiwi is being a menace every morning. Oh no. Kiwi's like, you will give me attention. Meow. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, robots. We got some fucking mech ass little head ass robots. <laughs> I didn't realize their heads were that small. <laughs> It's just a little guy. Yeah, d honestly, the I could probably lower the um, I, like I go to the volume mixer and probably lower the um, 
the, the DS um, emulators. Um, sound just a hair. Because, yeah, it's a little loud. Okay, I, I, I try another text to speech, you'll see how it compares. Because, yeah, the emulator is just loud. And it'll kind of fine tune it so that next time it's not as obnoxious. Oh no, another, out another outage! <laughs> oh yeah, it's just f forever problems everywhere of all kinds. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I put a cooldown on text-to-speech. Sorry. Um, well, we got enough time left in the stream. It'll probably, it'll probably pan out. Alright. Well, it looks like Mavis got HP at least. Oh, great. Another 15 HP for the person that's already got like 300. I, I, I wish our lovely little Esper Twink would get some stat-ups too. That would be fun and cool and nice. So it's not like it's not like he can't if uh, Mobis gets one, but it's just lower chance in general. No, um, I, pre I previously would get. But bless their heart, there's a viewer that sometimes does a, like does a lot of text to speech spam. And it's usually pretty funny, but it can also be distracting, so... Yeah, I... <laughs> No fried monitor to electric boo-boo. Yeah, that wouldn't be much fun. Oh no... No stat-ups, just more Kero. An Iron Jetta. Or Geta, I don't know how to say that. That would be an uh, that'd be some armor for um, Mobis, but that bo that boosts up uh, strength, and we don't want to boost up strength yet, because if you don't bo if you boost up your stats, then you have a lower um, gain rate, I think. So we're gonna try to not do that. All right, well. Just kind of grinding away on some enemies. Got to type something or other. Probably shouldn't have used that. But they're just innocent wildlife. Never. Oh, strength increase. You know, I, I'm complaining because my Esper just hasn't gotten a, a stat up in a while. They tend to kind of be a little infrequent with them. So I'm complaining, but not really, because at least, at least the human is getting some. Pretty sure we need to like go into like another rat hole somewhere to get up to the where we have to go. Let's do this combo battle. Oh, that's a lot. Um,
I'll have them just do nothing since I want to preserve their abilities. And they've already done an action, so don't really need to do anything else. I'll just have the I'll just have Cloudy here just saber everything to death, cause yeah, Cloudy's got a lot more just uses of stuff than most of the other people do. Max HP increase, great. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad someone's at least getting some stat ups, cause it's just pain otherwise. Um, maybe I have to go through this thing. I'm guessing so. Because now we're on top of the table. Look at this big ass spoon. Or is it a spork? Or is it a fork? I, I don't even know. Become small obtained. Well, let us hurry back to Kai. Why so small? This is the giant's world. Giants don't live here anymore, but this is where they did live. If I could get like a singular spirit level up for Hale at any point in this this world, that'd be great. Because I don't think Hale's gotten a single skill up. Nope, <laughs> it continues to not happen. <laughs> Fuck. Just RNG is very cruel. Just gotta get in more fights. Oh, that's kind of awkward. I forgot to put. I need. I forgot to put on another long sword after that one broke. Oh, we'll use a whip. When the the the, um, the Esper's shoes remind me of that meme with the the Among the Among Us with the fucking dripped ass shoes. <laughs> it's like like ridiculous shoes that don't necessarily have a place on the character. It's just like the Among Us with the shoes. <laughs> I forgot again to put a, a, sword, a long sword back on Mobis there. I mean, the whip stat gain is agility, so it's not the worst thing to do anyway, but... <clears throat> oh, we fi finally... something. I mean, it, it was an HP boost, but that, that counts for something. I guess. <laughs> I'll just fight a few things out here. Oh, we got surprise attacked. Oh no. Anyway. You know what? I need to start up using up this stuff, because. Yeah. We've got an awful lot of weapons that I gotta burn through on my human. You should draw some you should draw some more little guys. Or play video game, whatever your latest video game addiction is. I know late, I know that the evening stream for tonight's gonna be another art stream, so I'll probably get into drawing some little guys along with some other April Fool's stuff or whatever, like just like 
poorly drawn pictures of friends or something. I don't know. More, more meat. Yay. Today is the evil day of the year. Uh, more money, great. We'll do a few more fights and then we'll go heal at the end and save and we'll be ready to continue back to World 1 to go save Kai. Uh, next stream, which will be next Saturday. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I've had very infrequent stat ups with Hail this stream, so I'll take what I'll take whatever I can fucking get for the little monster. Just wish more of those were um, spirit. The spirit directly determines how much damage Hail does with abilities and healing, and it's very important to get that higher. It's also very important not to have them shoot my twink to death. Stop shooting the twink! <laughs> no bully! That heal spells. Enjoy the non electricity. <laughs> Take a nap while I wait for the power return. Aw. Yeah. Naps are good. Definitely take one if you, uh, yeah, if you got the chance. You recharge your batteries while you save battery power on your device. <laughs> Stop kicking my monster. Stop it. All right, that'll do it. Let's go in here and heal up. And then we'll save, and then that will be this. That'll be this stream. There will be more streams today. There'll be one after lunch. Oh, sweet! <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, let's save here, and we will... Nice. Alright. Close that. And then I'll put this thingy up here. Stream ended. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate the company while playing... Very much, and I, I play a lot of niche fucking games, let's be real. This is, like, a super niche game. Like, there's niche games, and this is, like, a niche remake of a niche game, so. Yeah, I'll be back after lunch with some RimWorld. But for now, thank y'all for coming by. N niche games are fun. It's, it's fun just, like, playing really obscure, fun, cool games. Uh, shut up, Chrome. Uh, let's see. Who is live right now that I want to raid into... Um, 
Oh, oh, it looks like Jedi's playing Don't Starve Together. This ought to be fun to watch. So yeah, I'm gonna raid into Jedi Cardet, one of Birdie's, one of Birdie's friends and one of my pals as well, because uh, he is playing Don't Starve Together. <laughs> so that sounds like it'd be entertaining. So I'm gonna stop m my stream and then we will raid into Jedi. See you there. And if I don't see you there, then I'll see you later. And if I don't see you later, I'll see you next time. You have a great day.